All right, let's cut right to it. There is a Bitcoin 2022 conference going on now in Miami nearby me. I did not go. I should have gone because I have just seen the Miami mayor, Francis Suarez, Mr. Bitcoin of Miami. He loves Bitcoin. He wants to make Miami the Bitcoin capital of the country. And I think he's going to do it. Florida is one of the greatest, if not the greatest state in this country. And they love crypto. And uh, the first day of the event, Francis Suarez unveiled Miami's answer to the charging bull of Wall Street. That crappy doll looking bull that looks like something out of a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Miami made something better. It's like the Terminator bull of crypto. So let's just go down and watch a little video and we'll show you some better stills after this. So let's rock. All right, let's go right here. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is fantastic. Yeah, Miami, uh, that was unveiled on Wednesday at the Miami Beach Convention Center uh, where the conference is being held and was immediately labeled by skeptics as an intelligencer as a crime against God. No, this is uh, this is the future. This is crypto. And the uh, old fuddy-duddies on Wall Street with their old dirty-looking bronze uh, bird poop covered and uh, garbage strewn across the whole area bowl. It has nothing to, has, can't even compare against the Terminator Skynet crypto bowl. This thing is freaking great. I love it, man. I think, I I mean, Florida could be the crypto capital. There's the um, crypto companies are coming down here. The venture capital companies are starting up Florida. They're buying, they're buying office space. They're bailing out of the crappy city of New York City, which is just vacant. Commercial space is everywhere. They're, it's so vacant. People are just bailing on that dump because they realize it's, it's just run by people that don't know what the hell they're doing. And they're destroying progress, literally, which is funny. Progressives destroying progress. Think about it. Anyway, they're all coming to Florida. The greatest tech sector is growing here. It can become like the Silicon Valley of the Southeast. And uh, with crypto, man, they love it here, and it's growing. You can pay your taxes now, I think, in crypto. I think they're pushing for that, and it's just really cool. So this is a cool picture right here. Look at that thing. Fantastic. The Iron Man Bitcoin bull is pretty cool. So let's go look at another video. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Like, here's the crappy New York one. Look at that thing. It's all touched. It looks like something out of a Bugs Bunny cartoon, kind of beaten up. Just not even that great. It's like, yeah, all right, whatever. Um, yeah, they probably had to clean up this area for a couple days just to get this shot, but I'm sure it looks really bad right now. So look at that head-on shot right here. Let's see if I bring, look at that right there. That thing's pretty cool. Let's go watch another video. Uh, where is the one of the mayor? This is cool. Look at that detail thing. It, again, it's like Terminator crypto Bitcoin bull, baby. All right, where is the video at I had? I am, look at this thing. That is fantastic. All right, you ready, guys? Can I? All right, let's just play it. Ready? Look at the detail on that. Oh my God, that is. Yeah, thank you, Amanda. That is by Amanda Rosa. Ah. All right, Miami's awesome, guys. Uh, so there you go. I just thought this would be a cool video. Let's get back to some cool pictures instead of looking at some boats. Um, Pretty neat, guys. If you're not following it, go check out the Bitcoin 2022. Keep up on some videos. Go watch Anthony Pompliano's channel. He him, and his brothers have a lot of viewers, a lot of subscribers. And uh, they talk about crypto and where it's going, the adoption. And they also do the underlying technology of blockchain. They do training and stuff as well, which I'm looking at, but it's a thousand bucks a class. I don't know. I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze on that one, but we'll see. We'll see. I love to get into the crypto space versus the crap I am doing right now. Uh, we'll see what happens. So there you go. I thought this was cool news. Check it out, man. I, I don't know where they're going to permanently put this thing, but I want to go take a picture with it. This thing is fantastic. This is this is really cool. Again, I was just like, meh, you know, Bitcoin 2022, whatever. Bitcoin Ben's there with all of his people with funny little crypto names. And I went, I'm not going to that. It seems kind of like a comics, what do you call it? What are those damn things called? Conventions, Comic Con, stuff like that. But now this is some real deals and people talking about the future of blockchain and crypto, the, the, uh, the adoption from institutions and people's plans for it. And it's going to go from there. Um, yeah. Anyway, cool stuff. Stuff is happening. Keep your eyes open. Try to keep up on the news. 
keep it's just keep 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 aware of the trends because uh stuff like this has happened you got a 1360 kilo of weight with laser eye bowl somebody built this cost by a hell of a lot of money and uh, it's just really really pretty cool and oh, this is a good quote right here this is from the mayor right here guys the Miami Bull is the physical representation of our city's commitment to boosting our position in the global finance market. Notably, we are doing so with the promotion and adoption of cryptocurrencies, baby. Blam, 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 blam. As New York, I'm going to say this, not being political, but you have to be. As New York falls off the cliff, people are leaving New York. They're running away. Companies are leaving. Lots of vacant office space. Where are they going? They're going to productive states. States aren't afraid to work and get things done. Florida, Texas, they're going to they're going to those states. Florida is booming, and uh, the tech is coming here. The good people are coming here. The money is coming here. We got the greatest leadership. I just think it's awesome, man. I'm just so glad to be here. I got to start putting more feelers out there and expand my crypto mining into some of these other fields and maybe get into the blockchain tech. Start doing some more programming with that and uh, hook up with some of these venture capital guys. Uh, I can think small change by mining a couple bucks here, a couple there. I'm just, I, I'm just limiting myself. I need to think bigger. I need to instead of thinking a thousand dollars a month, I need to be thinking some hundreds of thousand dollars a month. You know, with crypto, with stuff like that in the finances as well. Mining's good. Mining has a place, but there's always that. Oh my God, proof of stake crap's coming with Ethereum. What's going to happen? I need to also venture out into other opportunities with the crypto world and uh, getting in with some of these guys. You know, you surround yourself with brighter people. You're going to lift yourself up to their level. As long as you're not a douche and an idiot, treat them with respect and don't waste their time. Don't go ask people that are better off than you and are a higher level. Don't ask them for help or advice. You go to them and say, I can help you with this. I can offer you this. And then you get in there with them and then they'll start helping you. You know what I mean? Offer them something like, I'll take your picture. I can't build you a bowl like this, but I'll take your picture with a bowl. And then I can do this. I can do some logos for you. I can do some software for you. Then they start sharing their little tips and tricks because they know you're not then wasting their time. You see how that works? Don't go to a rich guy. Hey, can I bug you for a minute? No. You go up to them and offer them something help-wise and how you can um, add value to their day. Anyway, I get off on a topic. That's more of an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial mindset, which they don't teach in school. And in Florida, though, they're starting to teach some great stuff. They're, they're starting to teach personal finance, all the stuff you need to, not the bull crap of history and all this useless crap that my kids have to learn. I just go, why do you learn that? What a waste. I mean, you got to be learning personal finance, uh, um, uh, tech, math, computers, entrepreneurship, investing, uh, computers, uh, interpersonal skills, soft skills. Do you know what I mean? And uh, networking. It just... Basic common stuff, how to balance your checkbook, how to save money, how not to go buy shiny new objects and waste all your hard-earned money on a piece of crap that's going to depreciate. you got to teach that stuff in schools, not this bull crap they're teaching now in schools. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, here, history. Again, history is written by the, the victors. It's not truth. And you're talking about these stupid books, translating other books. How's that going to give me a paycheck and feed my kids? It is not. It's just some kind of stupid waste of time. And it really makes me angry. But when I see stuff like crypto come into the area, uh, you know, the governor say, well, your kids are going to learn personal finance. And I just said this, finally, someone that gets it. You know what I mean? You know, teach someone to fish and don't give them a fish, that type of crap. Just teach them that mindset. And that's what it, it's a mindset. And that's where I need to get is get bigger, you know, in a mindset picture, not just, oh, I'm trying to get two giga hash. All right. I get it. It's fun. It's a hobby. I'm making some bucks. I'm still in debt. I haven't paid my ROI on this equipment. I need to get out there again and get bigger with my ideas. Maybe, like I said, hook up with a venture capital company, do some programming blockchain or do something else, marketing or social media, or um, I don't know. I just don't know. You just got to get out there, put some feelers out, ask questions, make make uh, make offers or ask them to get offers and make them tell you no. Keep asking questions uh, to get into opportunities or offer them too. As I said, don't just ask, offer them, say, I can come in and help you with this. This is my skill set. Or I'm able to learn it. I don't know. Everyone's an expert on crypto. And then they're going to say, my God, this guy's willing to learn no matter what age you are. They're going to say, yes, come in here and we'll help you out. We'll give you some equity, give you some cash. And then you'll be uh, boats and hoes. It'll be uh, prestige worldwide, baby. That's what we need to start thinking. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That, you, get, you get psyched up when you see stuff like this and you see a mayor um, pumping crypto and just saying, we're going to be the crypto financial global finance market in a, in a ma major position.
versus just like hey, handing out checks to people to stay home and do nothing. You know, what would you rather have? Come on, you know, get off your butt and do something, make something yourself, make yourself a better version. All right, Crypto Bull, baby. This got me pumped. It got me stoked. And I uh, can't wait to see more. I'm going to watch Anthony Pompliano's video tomorrow on YouTube, see if they keep talking about this thing. Hopefully, they're standing by and get a picture. I have to find out. If anybody knows where we're going to put this thing, let me know. All right, I'm out. Bye. Later.